Coping with the nuances of contradictory ideas or experiences is mentally stressful. It requires energy and effort to sit with those seemingly opposite things that all seem true. Leon Fitzinger, in A Theory of Cognitive Dissonance, argued that some people would inevitably resolve dissonance by blindly believing whatever they wanted to. So no, Steve, I didn't run out of money, just working on plumbing stuff. Hey guys, it's Paul. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of what we're doing at the Ugly Motel. Stick around at the end to see one of the other projects we're working on. Okay, so what's happened this week? It all looks the same, Paul. Well, check out this new flashing around my awesome building. Uh, okay, so you know we needed uh, to update all of our plumbing the annex. What you don't know is material came in earlier than expected. Plumbers, specifically Tim, have been busting their butts for us today. And the upstairs annex plumbing is done. And we just passed inspection today. So we can start buttoning that up. So that's awesome. While the plumbers perform miracles updating the annex, I figured it was the perfect time to visit my family for the holiday weekend. Hi, baby. Who is it? Is it Dennis? <gasps> Hi, baby. But Paul, I heard you broke your leg. That's a quick recovery. What are you doing running around? No, I sprained my leg. It's just fine, random gossip person. But Paul, didn't somebody break in and, and try to try to steal all your stuff from the hotel? Well, the, somebody did break in. Thank you for helping me out with my security system. Um, I think they just cleaned a toilet. I don't know. Okay, so really good news on the other project, on the duplex. Um, so we, we passed plumbing inspection and the upstairs plus electrical inspection. And uh, it's looking good. Oh wait, you guys you guys don't know about the other property, the other random permits we have out? Yeah, when I pressed pause for my surgery, we left a couple of irons baking in the fire. All right, for those of you guys that don't know, I've also been remodeling uh, a duplex. So when my spine went out, I um, had to drop the ball on quite a few projects and uh, finally was, we were finally able to pick them up again. I figure I'd just walk you through that since the hotel's kind of boring right now. All right, so here's this property. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm a fan of stainless steel and um, I don't know, kind of that country look. Also, it's affordable. So we're finishing up this project. It's finally there. Yes, I did the tile work. No, it's not my best work, but it took a day to do, and it works, so. Gotta still get a mirror for this thing, playing with finishing up the electrical. Gotta have the electrical inspection here really soon. Electrician outside. We had somebody swipe our meter box cover, so that's frustrating. Um, so we had to wait a second to get that to do our inspection. Figured might as well do another project since we're waiting on inspections at the other property. So yep, yeah, this duplex has a brand new meter box. Look at that pretty thing. For those of you looking to upgrade your meter box, I suggest Jung Electric. Ah, you don't want to be in a video, right? No video. So if you can't tell, it's vinyl floor, it's a basement, but it's looking okay. Doing the same wood trim. Uh, well, this isn't the wood trim, there's the wood trim. There's where a door needs to go. Carpet already has drywall dust on it. We accidentally buried an outlet, so the electrician came through and found it. Nice egress windows, did triangle um, closets. Made the most out of 900 square feet, I feel. Oh, I don't know where we're gonna put the mirror here since everything is just a little bit off center. But I don't know, it works, it functions. Okay guys, hopefully that, you know, gave a little bit of information about what we're doing and uh, kind of what we're wrapping up before we start 
season two of the Ugly Motel. Um, stay tuned. Again, please like and subscribe if you do want to follow us along uh, or follow along with us. Uh, we're just figuring it out as we go and hoping to keep everybody happy. So um, if you guys have any ideas on fundraising events or anything like that that we should look into for um, the rest of the hotel remodel, it probably wouldn't hurt. Let me know. I know people keep uh, messaging ideas. It's kind of fun. Um, we have that awesome big ballroom, but with COVID-19, we can't really use it too much. Um, but yeah, I am looking for other revenue sources just because, you know, it does freak me out a little bit not having any tenants during the remodel. So um, I don't want to just borrow, borrow, borrow. You know, I'm not a huge fan of crazy amounts of debt. Um, so anyhow, ideas, awesome. Let me know. Thanks for following, guys. Bye.